you want this tip of the iceberg slide, which by the way was handcrafted by SlideCow, meaning it is 100% customizable for absolutely free, then please do us a favor. Click on the first link in our description and sign up to our mailing list for tons of updates and exclusive content. Your welcome email to our mailing list will consist of a download link for the slide. Also, if you have Facebook, please go to facebook.com slash slidecow and follow our page. Thanks guys. Welcome back to another video from SlideCow. My name is Yoyo and together we're going to make your slides amusing. This week's video is going to be short but useful. We're going to talk about anchor points in PowerPoint. What is an anchor point in PowerPoint? Anchor points are sometimes referred to as rotation points. They're essentially a set and dedicated point for your slide element, like shapes, images, or icons. This dedicated point does not move nor rotate. However, it serves as the basis of where you want to move or rotate the specific element. I didn't understand. Well, let me show you. Over here, we have our element, which is essentially an anchor icon for our anchor point tutorial. How ironic. Now, have you ever thought why elements rotate the way they do? Have you ever thought why when I rotate this element in specific to the right, it rotates just like this? Well, that's because there's a hidden anchor point. You can't see it, but I'm gonna show you where it is. It's right over here. Dead center of this element over here is our anchor point. Now, when I rotate this image again, take note of this, right? The anchor point does not move, right? It does not rotate, but it serves as the basis for our rotation and our movement, right? That's very important for you to understand. And this applies for everything. So let's just say, for example, I go to shapes, I go to this heart shape over here and bring it just over there and rotate it to the right. Now you can't see the anchor point, right? But when you bring in the anchor point in the middle, just like this, let's just bring that to front, bring that in the middle of our uh, heart shape and rotate it to the right, you will notice that the anchor point will not move at all, right? But it rather it serves as the basis of our rotation. Think of it like a pivot. Okay, I get it now, so why are you discussing anchor points? There are going to be times when you want to move your elements in a specific way depending on the nature of your slide. So for example, over here, I have this metric described by a KPI infographic uh, through a dial and an arrow, right? Over here I have not so great and over here I have great. And currently the arrow is pointing somewhere in between, so showing a 50% score for how our customers see us. Now let's say that I've been told, right, this week, we've been doing awesome with how our customers see us. So I wanna point this little arrow to the great uh, parts of this infographic. When I rotate this arrow to the right, what do you see happening? Unfortunately, the base of the arrow moves when you rotate it. Why? Because, as I said, the anchor point will always be in the center of your element, right? The center of your element when it comes to your PowerPoint slides, all the time. And that can be problematic. Oh, so is there a way to move the anchor point? Unfortunately, there is no setting in PowerPoint that allows us to move anchor points. However, there is a cool trick where you can force PowerPoint to look for other anchor points. Let me show you what I mean, right? So using the example that we used before with this arrow, we want it so that when we rotate it to the right or to the left, the base has to say where it is. How do we do that? Well, we have to expand the element in order for us to force PowerPoint to look for a new anchor point. What do I mean? Does that mean I have to increase the size of the element? No, you don't have to increase the size of the element and I don't recommend you do that. Instead, click on the element that you have and press on Control D. I'm going to color this a different color so you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. It is now an orange arrow, right? What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna flip this orange arrow. So I'm gonna go to Home, I'm gonna to go to arrange, I'm gonna to go to uh, rotate, and then I'm gonna click on flip vertical over here. Now, I'm going to move the base of this arrow so it matches the base of the black arrow, just like this, right? And then when I'm done, I'm gonna click on both of these guys and press on control G to group it up. Now, when I move the uh, arrow, it is almost perfect because the base stays where it is. And that's only because we have the anchor point in the middle because we expanded the element. Now you might be saying, but wait, that just looks really bad, right? Uh, I, don't want, I don't want to have another arrow. I don't want people to see that other element. No problem. 
click on the element over here, click on format, click on shape fill, click on no fill. That way, the element that you duplicated is now hidden, right? But it's still allowing PowerPoint to force itself to look for that new anchor point. So long as you grouped those elements together, it is always gonna be in the center. So now when I rotate this image to the right, it's perfect all the time. And you can rotate it any way that you'd like. Are there any other applications for anchor points you can think of? Absolutely, there are tons. So for example, right, let's just say I want to bring in this beautiful icon uh, of an anchor over here and make a circular pattern with it. Um, let's click on this icon and press on Control D to group it up, right? And uh, let's just also rotate it vertically, just like this. And we're gonna place it at the top of this slide so that it's in vertical alignment, just like this, with some considerable uh, space in between. Let's go to insert, let's go to shapes, and let's go to this circle over here and just draw a circle. You wanna make sure it's also in the middle, and you wanna make sure, oops, that's weird. And then you wanna make sure that everything is distributed evenly by highlighting everything, going to arrange, going to align, and then click on distribute vertically. Now, we know that that circle over there is our anchor point because it is in the center of this group. Press on Control G to group it. It is now in the center of this group, right? So I'm just gonna press on Control D to duplicate it and I'm just gonna overlap it with the original image just over here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rotate it, right? I'm gonna rotate it horizontally now so that we have four icons just like this. And then it's just a matter of filling in the blanks. So I'm gonna press on Control D and I'm gonna do this, and then one more time, and do this. Boom, perfect. Now I'm gonna highlight on everything, press on Control, Shift, G, to ungroup everything, click on the middle, and keep deleting the circles that we made until we get this awesome circular pattern of anchors that you see right over here. It's perfect. And we can even do any sort of customization with it now. So we can click on this and uh, this one and this one and this one. And we can even change the color of it. So let's just say I want to make this a pinkish color. Perfect. That looks absolutely awesome. All right, guys. And that is our tutorial completed. As always, if you like this video, please do like, do comment, do share, and do subscribe. And please, please, please go to the slidecow.com uh, mailing list by obviously visiting slidecow.com and sign up. You'll get a free tip of the ice square template. You'll get exclusive content. It is awesome. I'll see you guys in the next one. Be safe, be happy, and as always, stay professional. Bye-bye, guys.